the Spica and its successor, Spica 2, aka Nord Shopping Classes, were undoubtedly one of the sexiest fast attack craft of their time. Even though these surface combatants never saw action, they are highly praised by naval enthusiasts. Today, we are investigating the Spica and Nord Shopping Classes, the legendary fast attack crafts of the Baltic. The Spica and the Nord Shopping classes are the symbols of the change in the Swedish Navy. So one vessel of each class is in the listing of historic ships in Sweden and preserved in seaworthy conditions. They were the children of the new naval concept of the Swedish Navy. During the 1950s, the tension between the Western and Eastern blocs constantly raised. Sweden had to reorganize its armed forces to adapt to the new situation and protect its policy of neutrality. So, on February 4, 1958, the Swedish Riksdag passed the Defense Act of 1958, which prioritized the Army and the Air Force. Sweden reduced the Navy's share in the defense budget from 18 to 12 percent. The major surface combatants would be gradually replaced by the fast attack crafts in the anti surface warfare mission, and the submarines would become the backbone of anti submarine warfare missions. But the existing vessels were insufficient for the new mission definition. Based on the experiences that came from the Playad class, the Swedish naval staff required a new fast attack craft which would have better weaponry, electronics, protection and machinery. The Playad class boats had three 2500 horsepower Daimler Benz MB518 diesels. Later, the Swedish engineers modified the engines and increased the power output to 3000 horsepower but it was still insufficient to answer the new requirements of the Swedish naval staff. Also, the wooden hull of the Playad class, which was a standard for torpedo boats in these years, could not meet the criteria for the protection level. So, Marin Plan 60 was added, which initiated the commissioning of a new and highly capable submarine and torpedo boat. In 1961, Sweden opened an international tender and evaluated British, German and Norwegian fast attack crafts. Yet, none of them could offer a boat suitable for the Swedish Navy's requirements. Still, the new Jaguar class design of the Luesen was promising except for its wooden hull and diesel engines. This German shipbuilder sold the construction drawings of the boat to Sweden. The Swedish naval engineers used these drawings to develop the Spica class, which would become the template for the subsequent Swedish fast attack craft. Unlike the wooden hull Diagua class, the Spica class, which shared the same hull design, had a steel hull and gas turbines. The first boat of the class, HMS Spica, was launched on April 26, 1966 and commissioned on August 26 of the same year. Sweden built six vessels in this class and named them after stars. The last one, HMS Vergo, was commissioned on March 22, 1968. The Spica class was one of the most modern torpedo boats of its time. It was revolutionary in various areas, especially hull construction, drive concept and armament. The hull was of steel and the superstructure was of aluminum alloys. Using metals made the boat heavy, which increased stability. Also, the location of the bridge and operations room, positioned at the rolling and stamping center, improved stability further. Thus. Even at high sea states, the Spica class offered high comfort for the crew and a stable platform for the weapon's accuracy. Another innovation compared to the previous German and Swedish counterparts was that the Spica class used wire-guided torpedoes instead of unguided ones. So the boat could redirect them even after the launch, which increased the probability of a hit. Also, thanks to its highly modern fire control system for that time, which consisted of a fire control radar and a relatively primitive computer, the Spica class could calculate precise fire control solutions for the torpedoes. The 533mm wire controlled Torpedo 61 torpedo had 45 knots speed and 24 km range. Its warhead was 250 kg. All six torpedo tubes were rigidly mounted on a slightly angled position from the longitudinal axis. There were no spare torpedoes on board. 
The four torpedo tubes at the aft could be removed to accommodate rails for laying sea mines and throwing depth charges. Still, the boat had limited anti-submarine warfare capability since it had no sonar. The 57mm Bufosh SAK Mark I gun of the Spica class had a rate of fire of 200 rounds per minute and a maximum range of 17,000 meters. Later, it was replaced by the SAK Mark II. This variant had a rate of fire of 220 rounds per minute and faster target acquisition capability and it could fire new types of ammunition. There were six racks for the 103mm illumination rockets on the turret. The plan in the 1980s to replace the torpedo tubes with anti-ship missiles was never realized. The Spica class could be sealed airtight and a filter system was cleaning the air. So it had NBC protection. The gas turbines had a high power output which gave the Spica class a top speed of over 40 knots. Yet they were not reliable enough and were often experiencing malfunction. For this reason, two of three gas turbines were running during the course in general use. The crew was activating the third one during the attack. The boat had six watertight compartments and could float even if two adjacent ones were flooded. Despite its highly advanced design, the Spica was still a torpedo boat. In the same years, the main nemesis, the Soviet Navy, began to commission Komar and Asa-class missile boats. So, we may say, in one regard, the Spica class was obsolete since the beginning. The service life of the Spica class boats is uneventful. They never participated in any major incidents. HMS Castor and HMS Sirius were decommissioned in 1985 and the rest in 1989. Still, HMS Spica is preserved as a museum ship. HMS Spica is still fully operational. She also makes trips during the summer, which can be booked. According to Jane's major warships, the complement of the Spica class was 30 people. It had a length of 42.5 meters, a beam of 7.1 meters and a drought of 1.6 meters. The boat's standard displacement was 200 tons, while its fully loaded displacement was 235 tons. Three 4,500 horsepower Rolls-Royce Proteus 1282 gas turbines provided a maximum speed of 40 knots. Based on the experience gained with the Spica class, Sweden decided to design a new boat called the Spica II class in the early 1970s. Later, this class was renamed as Norrköping class. The first vessel of the class, HMS Norrköping, was launched on November 16, 1972 and commissioned on May 11, 1973. The Swedish Navy took 12 Norrköping class boats into service until 1976. It had some minor changes from the previous Spica class. The Norrköping class was 1.1 meters longer than its predecessor. Its standard displacement was 190 tons, while its fully loaded displacement was 230 tons. It had an improved air intake, enabling the ships to reach up to 42 knot speed. The initial armament of the Norrköping class was the same as the Spica class. It had one 57mm Bufosh SAK Mark I gun and six 533mm torpedo tubes. But unlike the Spica class, the new boat had a domestically produced Saab 9LV200 Mark I. The boat had been designed to allow the integration of future anti-ship missiles from the beginning. The Swedish Navy was one of the pioneers of ship-based anti-ship missiles. The Holland-class destroyer was the first major western surface combatant equipped with this weapon system. Also, the Swedish Navy had the Huggin missile boat. They had the Penguin missiles with a 34km range, whose Swedish designation was the Robot 12. The Swedish Navy, which had a deep-rooted ship-based anti-ship missile tradition, decided to replace the four aft torpedo tubes of the Norrköping class boats with the RBS-15s in the early 1980s. The trial was conducted on HMS PTO. The result was successful. So, Sweden converted all Norrköping class torpedo boats to missile boats between 1982 and 1985. The RBS-15 Mark I had a 200 kg high-explosive blast pre-fragmented warhead and a range of 70 km. Its speed was Mach 
Also, the Torpedo 61s were replaced by the Torpedo 613 torpedoes. The new one had a range of 30 km. Like the Spica class, the Norshopping class was re-equipped with SAK Mark II gun. Since the RBS-15 offered twice the range of the Robot-12, the modernization also included the integration of long-range sea draft radar and the Maris 880 weapons control system. Thanks to the Maris 880, the Norshopping class had over-the-horizon engagement capability by receiving target data from helicopters. At first, like the Spica class, the North Shopping class boats had a pennant number that started with the letter T. This letter referred to the Swedish word Torped Batar, which means torpedo boat. Now, since the North Shopping class became a missile boat, the letter T was changed to R, the initial of the Swedish word for missile boat, robot bat. Between 1996 and 2000, Sweden modernized six vessels of this class to keep them in service until the Wisby class corvettes were commissioned. The Maril 2000 replaced the Maris 880 weapons control system. Also, the boats received new advanced electronics. After the modernization, these six boats were redefined as the Easter class. When the Soviet Whiskey class submarine S363 was aground outside Karlskrona in October 1981, which is known as the U-137 incident, the interrogations of Soviet officers and diplomats were carried out on HMS Westerwick. This boat had monitored the large-scale Soviet exercise Zapad 81 out in the Baltic Sea one month ago. HMS Westerwick became the first decommissioned North Shopping class boat in 1997. As mentioned before, six vessels had been modernized to be kept in service until 2010. But due to economic reasons and changing threat perceptions, Sweden retired all boats by 2005. HMS Westerwick is preserved as a museum ship. In 2006, HMS Eastat was taken over by a non-profit association that handles maintenance and operation. So, she has been stripped off the HMS prefix. Eastat is still in seaworthy condition. The Stockholm class corvettes, which share the same hull design, were initially defined as the Spica 3 class. The Handalan class or Spica M class missile boats of the Royal Malaysian Navy are the modified variants of the North Shopping class. They were built in Sweden. Unlike their Swedish sisters, the Handalan class boats with bridge amidships have three MTU diesel engines a fully loaded displacement of 240 tons, a length of 43.6 meters and a drought of 2.4 meters. They have one Bufoch 40mm L70 gun on the aft and Exoze MM38 anti-ship missiles. The Konchar class missile boats based on the North Shopping class were built in Yugoslavia. These boats have two diesel engines and two gas turbines. Initially, they carried two SSN-2 Stix anti-ship missiles and two 57mm Bufosh SAK Mark I guns instead of one. Today, the Montenegrin Navy operates two Konchar class vessels as patrol boats without missiles. Also, Shibenik in this class, which has the RBS-15 missiles, one 57mm Bufosh SAK Mark I gun and AK-630 close and weapon system is still serving in the Croatian Navy. Similarly, the Vilamos missile board of the Royal Danish Navy was based on the North Shopping class. Some viewers may claim that no naval ship can be a legend without combat achievements. But according to Sun Tzu, the supreme art of war is to subdue the enemy without fighting. The Spica class and its successor, the North Shopping class, successfully defended the Swedish coastlines for nearly 40 years. So we may say that they were legendary divas of the art of war. Thanks for watching our video and please don't forget to subscribe to our channel and click the bell button to be notified of our new videos. Also, you can now click the join button to support our channel. And as always, we would greatly appreciate all of your likes, comments and shares.